Hi everybody and welcome. In this video I'm going to be discussing some of the key benefits of the new EXM product that we just released at the end of July. I'll also be comparing some of the improvements versus the prior version of the EXM. The biggest uh, benefit improvement that our OEMs and customers are going to see is the addition of the integrated Wi-Fi server within the monitor control module and when we talk about the monitor control module that's the, that is the black box that's mounted on the EXM2 monitor itself. It actually houses a Wi-Fi server. Um, the network is password protected and there you see information on the network name and the network uh, password as well. This allows access to the EXM2.net browser page via a Wi-Fi capable device, whether it's a laptop, a uh, tablet, or uh, we've even released a version that's compatible with an iPhone as well. Uh, just a note here, the Wi-Fi that is used for this configuration is for programming and configuration only. It is not for standard operation. So, this is just a new way to configure the product, uh, a much simpler, more uh, streamlined process versus the old way of configuration, excuse me, configurating the monitors. Um, you know, on the current EXM or the prior version of the EXM, the process was downloading the configurator from our website onto your laptop. Um, entering all the serial numbers for the controllers and for the monitors into our configurator, downloading that information onto a USB drive, taking that USB drive and inserting it into one of the EXM controllers and then uh, removing that data from the USB onto the controller so then the system could be configured so all of the controllers uh, communicated to the monitor. That process is going away uh, with the new EXM2, and again, it's all done via Wi-Fi. Uh, turn the Wi-Fi on on the monitor, connect to it with a laptop or a tablet, and this allows the user to do all the configuration um, just exactly the way they, they did it before, setting travel limits, keep out zones, troubleshooting. You can even download Diag files. Again, this eliminates the old configura configuration method of the USB to the laptop. There'll be additional videos coming out on that process. Um, again, this is just an overview on, on how that process is done. Um, EXM2 controls, something new uh, for the EXM2 system. Uh, all of the controllers now include uh, standard monitor controls for up, down, left, and right. And something new that we've added are the dedicated stow and deploy buttons and uh, oscillate button, which is a carryover from the previous controllers. Stow and deploy are user programmable positions uh, and again, carryover controls for all of the uh, panel mount, handheld and joystick all have nozzle controls for fog and stream. Uh, again, including open, close and preset controls for the unibody valve and an auxiliary button for powering an external device, which could be a light or a camera. Uh, the EXM2 panel mount, there you see the current EXM version and the new and improved EXM2. Data keypad, um, a, a great improvement on this, improved user feedback. It's got real tactile feedback buttons on these raised buttons versus the old flat keypad that was on the prior version. Again, separate stow and deploy buttons, no change to the overall size or packaging, same mounting hole as the previous EXM. The EXM2 handheld and gateway, uh, the wireless handheld controller and gateway, which is model number 7015X2. Again, separate stow and deploy buttons and the addition of a power button. So if you look at the old EXM wireless controller, there was, there was no power button on that. Now we have a dedicated power button. Transmission frequencies for FCC uh, is at 915 megahertz and we'll also have a CE version uh, communicating at 868 megahertz. Uh, rechargeable lithium ion battery pack. No batteries to replace on this uh, system either. Um, the new docking station is something that's a huge improvement over the prior version, uh, which allows for one handed operation. So, um, much improved loading and unloading of that wireless controller. 
The other item that actually comes with the handheld is the gateway module now. So that is a that's a module that the OEM will install on the truck. So the wireless handheld communicates to the gateway via RF and then the gateway itself is hardwired to the monitor via CAN bus hardwire. So just some highlights here again, uh, induction charging while in the docking, docking station, no batteries to replace. Simple one-handed release from the charging station, vast improvement over the EXM1. So this is sold with and already paired to the gateway, no configuration required. So OEM can install this, uh, install the monitor, install the gateway module, run the hardwire CAN bus between the module and the monitor, and install the wireless handheld and it's already already connected already ready to go so the gateway is connected to the monitor via a can harness again that's sold as a package so when a customer buys buys the handheld and gateway package they're getting the handheld they're getting the docking station and they're getting that can bus gateway module as, as a complete package on the new exm2 joystick of uh, 7030X2. So this is again a new design with an improved keypad. It also includes the stow and deploy buttons as well as fog stream on the thumb wheel and valve open close preset. Same mounting holes as the previous version of joystick. Highlight here the OEM module is no longer required. So the so the image on the left here was the old joystick this was CAN bus hardwired to an OEM module and then this module again was then hardwired to CAN bus hardwired to the monitor we've eliminated that module so this this module here the components that were in, inside this module have been moved to the bottom of this joystick so you have, actually have a direct CAN bus output coming off the bottom of this joystick directly to the monitor. So a uh, little bit more streamlined installation for our, for our customers. Again, no OEM module, just joystick, hard, hardwired CAN bus directly to the monitor. Uh, so output signal is now integrated within the monitor control module. Uh, the image on the left here was the, with the monitor and the customer had to buy a separate stow module. Um, no longer have to order that module that is now included within the EXM2 monitor. So again, the stow output signal was used by OEMs to detect the position of the monitor, um, typically used to ensure the monitor was stowed prior to returning the aerial or ladder to the home position. So again, that, that module is no longer required. It's included in the output of the EXM2 monitor. So again, the EXM2 Advantage panel mount direct hardwire CAN bus direct to the monitor, the joystick CAN bus direct to the monitor, no OEM module required, and then the handheld wireless remote is RF communicated to the gateway, and then the gateway is hardwired to the monitor. So the gateway module can be mounted near the monitor or in another location convenient to the OEM. The module is hardwired via CAN bus to monitor. Just a uh, current update then, pricing on monitors and controllers the same as 2020 EXM pricing. So whatever's in the price list right now for 2020 on current EXM, when we roll out um, the new price list for, for the EXM2, all the pricing is going to remain the same for the rest of 2020. So no price changes from EXM1 to EXM2. There is one exception. The new EXM2 joystick will be... Uh, $2,300 list. Right now the EXM, the current EXM joystick is thirty-five over $3,500. So um, we were able to take some cost out of that and we're passing that on to our customers. So again, the current joystick is over $3,500. The new joystick list price is $2,300. And so talking about orders up to launch date, which uh, which was 7-31-2020, so we, we're just a few days past our launch date. Ex existing orders uh, will be continue to be filled with the EXM product. Any new orders that come in after the launch date will be EXM2 unless customer specified. I know we've got 
um, trucks that are in the in the build schedule and certain EXM products have been spec'd in. Uh, so we're not going to force customers to change over to the EXM2, um, especially if something specified to be an EXM1, but we'd like to get customers converted over as quick as possible. So shouldn't be a big uh, a big shift for, for our customers, for our OEMs. The monitor itself, there's no physical changes. Uh, installation is still the same, and all of the controllers still have the same footprint, still have the same mounting. Uh, with the exception of the handheld uh, docking station, there is a little bit of uh, different mounting on the on the docking station for the handheld wireless remote. But the panel mount and the joystick all have the same mounting template, same mounting configuration. So, um, any questions, comments, give me a call, send me an email. Uh, appreciate your feedback on the uh, on the new product and. Um, Feel free to pass this on to your customers and look forward to getting the EXM2 rolled out to our to our customers.